This is the coronal suture separating the frontal from the parietal bones. Sagittal suture line separating the two parietals. Squamosal or squamous suture line separating the temporal bone from the parietals. And then we have the lambroidal suture line separating the occipital bone from the two parietals. This is the frontal bone, temporal bone, parietal bones, and occipital bone of the skull. These are the orbits of the skull, superior orbital fissure, inferior orbital fissure. This is the vomer. This is the perpendicular plate of the nasium. Middle conche, inferior conche. This is the maxilla. These are the alveolar processes of the maxilla where the teeth fit into. These are the alveolar processes of the mandible where the mandible teeth fit into. On the mandible, we have the coronoid process, the mandibular notch, condylar process and mandibular process, the angle of the ramus of the mandible, this is the ramus and the body. This is the mental foramen, the mandibular foramen is this opening right here. This is the zygomatic bone, the temporal bone and the zygomatic bone come together to form the zygomatic arch. This is the mastoid process, styloid, these are the occipital condyles, this is the external occipital protuberance, so bump the sticks out. This is the palatine bone. These are the pterygoid processes of the sphenoid bone. This is the external auditory meatus. This is the internal auditory meatus located in the petrish part of the temporal bone. This is the cella tersica, ethmoid bone made up of the crystagalli and the cribiform plate.